I'm Ike Arumba, host of the Ike Arumba Show on Code Zero Radio. You should manage your life as well as a Jasper guitar with its patented technology will manage your tones. And speaking of managing your life, check out the Ike Arumba Show on Code Zero Radio on demand and on Tuesdays live at 9 p.m. everybody, Jay Stulo for Jasper Guitars. Continuing on in our exciting video series all about slide guitar. Today we're going to talk about chords. Because if you're going to use an open E tuning, your chords have all changed. Everything has moved. Some things become a lot easier, a whole lot cooler. Some things become a little bit more challenging and you have to come up with some creative ways to deal with it or just find a different way to think. So, open E tuning, your guitar is tuned to an E bar chord. You know, typically one of those, right? The big old cowboy chord. So your, your major chords, your bar chords, become very easy. So I imagine most of you, when you started playing guitar, the hardest thing that you had to accomplish was playing a bar chord. I remember the first time I could cleanly play an F bar chord after months of trying. I was so proud. Well now, in this tuning, there it is. One finger, really easy. So all of your basic major bar chords are straight across. Very cool for that. Um, changes your power chords a little bit too, because because this is t your, your fifth string is tuned to the fifth. That makes power chords, at least on the sixth string, pretty easy. Pretty straightforward. Here's where things get a little bit tricky. What if you need to play a minor chord? So let's take a look at if we wanted to play an E minor chord. So we know E major is pretty easy to play. So let's do it up here at the 12th fret. So if our major chord is straight across like that, our major third is on the third string. It's that note. How on earth are we gonna get that lower to half step to the minor third? Well, the good news is, when you're playing slide, you still have your other fingers. And if you press down behind the slide, you can get that note to ring through. And you can play a minor chord that way. It takes a little bit of practice to get that, and I've been working on it for years, and I still can't get it every time. So another way to approach it, where I, I tend to find my, my favorite position to play minor chords, is in a, in a different place. So if I were to do that same E minor chord, I'm looking for the E note on the fifth string. And that happens to be here, uh, where normally you would find a D note. But in open tuning, open E, your E is here. So what's cool is your minor chord is right like that, which is really easy to play uh, because it's that fifth fret and then third fret, third fret, and fifth fret again. So you can get your minor chord there. You can make it a minor seven. It's even easier because it's all third fret. And you can go fifth fret and everything else will be third fret. And you get a nice E minor seven. So that's another option. And for those of you who are into sweeping arpeggios, that's pretty easy to do. It's much harder to do that in standard tuning. Um, that's a cool approach. Another thing that we should probably talk about is seventh chords. Uh, those are also really easy to do uh, in this tuning. So if I were to say I wanted to play an A7, it's that bar, and then all I have to do is add on the second uh, string, I add the eighth fret in there and get that dominant seven. Really easy to do. Much easier than if you were to do it the old fashioned sort of standard way where you have to contort your hand to do this to play that card. So there are advantages uh, to playing a, a open tuning like this. Even though you have one of your fingers sort of wrapped up in glass, you still have a lot of freedom to play chords. 
So I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, if you like the video, go ahead and like the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the bell icon to get notifications. Stay in touch. Learn all about Jasper guitars. Until next time. Mm -hmm.